Over the last several months, there's certainly been a lot of high profile layoffs, particularly from these big tech behemoths. So Sara, do you see this current trends accelerating, you know, freelancing and, and gig work? I think right now it's not just the U.S. economy. I think it's the global economy. It's bracing for impact. And we had this banking crisis happen. So people are like, oh, God, is this 2008? Like that's given more anxiety. And it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy. You don't want this to happen if you keep thinking of it. So I'll be positive today. But a lot of these people that are experiencing the layoffs, especially if they're maybe in non-tech roles, they have skills, right? The hard skills, the soft skills, those are transferable. It's not all negative. There's still industries that are always hiring, whether it be full-time roles, part-time roles, you know, the gig roles and the freelancing. But I think my comments kind of piggyback back on the last question. How do you distinguish yourself? What, what makes you so special? Talking to people about what you did and how those actions made an impact. The impact part of it is, is the storytelling. And that's where, even if you're an accountant, I'm just making this up, you can be a storyteller. You can make numbers fun. I'm an economist. I love economics, but partly probably because I put the passion in it. It's about how you tell your story. And I think we'll see a rise, in my opinion, in freelancing as people are just, you know, stepping back, reevaluating their life choices, right? Thinking about leisure versus work, but also culture, the brand of the employer, the main points that my distinguished panelists touched upon. But I think I would like to, to end it on this though. When I look at the data in the US, specifically the people that are not in the labor force, the three issues outside of retirement is caregiving, concerns around healthcare, getting COVID or not wanting to work. That population of not wanting to work you know, what's driving that, right? Do they want to be freelancers? Is there some barrier? And I can't answer that question on behalf of the U.S. Census Bureau because they didn't follow up. You know, that's me right there picking apart some of the government data. But, you know, those are some of the thoughts that come to me. Well said. 